Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the coziest React video of all time. It's raining. It was raining. I'm cozy in my hoodie. And we're looking at the top posts of r slash liminal space. Okay, basically, there are these places that are kind of lonely, abandoned, and they feel ethereal, dream -like. I'm going to be giving each of these spaces uh, a rating out of five. Let's do uh, Cranberry Apple Oasis. My town late at night is terrifying. This is not terrifying. This is kind of cozy. I don't know. These lines look fake. That's a good start. That's three cranberry apples out of five. Next. Oh my god, it's an old blockbuster. That's a piece of history. I'll give that a four out of five cranberry apples. My school. Oh my god, this is horrible. Actually, who thought that was a good idea? Who made, who made the door like that? Just stick it out of the wall. Why didn't they just put it against the wall there? The architect of this building was either very high or has just recently escaped an insane asylum. Yeah, man, that's a one out of five cranberry juices. Oh, is this fake? Oh, it's not real. Yeah, I don't know. It's the red sky that's weird. That's like the back rooms in there, man. Number 36. This was my neighborhood today. Where do you live, bro? This is, this is what he hears. He wakes up every morning to go to school. This is what he hears, man. First thing, it never stops ever. I'll give that a four out of five cranberry juices. I took a nap and now everybody's gone. This one's kind of pretty though. I don't know, it's like the sky, it's like, it's manufactured almost. Like these houses are too perfect. Not one animal in here. This is a good one. It's the first five cranberry juices of the day. 34. The city of Detroit, the largest of liminal spaces? Nah, not really, man. This is like the alpha of, uh, footage of GTA 6. Like, nothing's finished here, you know? That's a four. Next. An interpolation from an AI trained on liminal images? Oh, yuck. That means none of these are real places. Ew. Wow. That's a five out of five cranberry juice, man. None of those were real. But they look so real. What? Oh, I gotta sneeze. I'm struggling today, guys. I think I'm sick. Guys, please. Oh, I'm so sick. You just have to subscribe and press like. Please. That's from, uh, Yes Man. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, I love Jim Carrey. This is, this is good. That's a five out of five. What the hell is that? This is Splinter Fest over here, man. Yo, if I ever start a festival like Coachella, but only for like heavy metal bands, I'm calling it Splinter Fest. Yeah, this looks horrible and I'd never play here or let my kids come play here. One out of five. One last look back. Oh, okay, here's the thing about snow and nighttime, right? The snow is bright and it reflects like all light from the moon, so it gives everything this weird feel. Great when you have a girlfriend, it's really romantic, but when you're alone, that's when the skinwalkers come out. So it's kind of like 50-50, you know, but we get a lot of this in Canada here. 29. Yeah, bro, this is like, in the lurking distance, there's, uh, what's his name? Siren Head, and he's like, I'm coming for your ball. Number 28. We climbed inside of a highway bridge. This goes for 10 plus kilometers. Good lord. Inside a bridge? I didn't even know bridges had an inside. That looks absolutely horrible. Imagine you're, you see something all the way at the end, and it's running at you so fast. 10 plus kilometers, and it can do it like that. It's over, man. Don't ever put me in a situation. I can take that monster down, but I don't, just don't feel like it right now. Next one. Yeah, that's horrible, man. Here's the thing about liminal spaces. Once they have, like, childlike elements in there, like an old playground, paintings, clown or whatever, like, it gets freaky. This pool, why well, you need... Four exits, man. It's not that big. The pool isn't big enough to justify four exits. Also, the tree behind that other mushroom is like... <laughs> Damn, boy. What's all that movement back there? That's what he's saying. Fake rock. I mean, it's a, a good liminal space, but not a place I would go to, so I guess I'd give it a one cranberry juice. Number 26. My grandmother's basement. This looks like it's straight out of Half-Life 2. Why is the bike on the inside? Why is the TV and that lamp so old? What are those posters? You can give it a little makeover, make it a nice pad. Otherwise, it's haunted. And you should not go there. Two out of five cranberry juices. You want to know what's funnier than 24? <laughs> 25. Oh, it's a hotel one. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, I don't like that carpet, man. There's just so many corners. The light's on the ceiling, but it's shining on the wall and nothing on the floor. The whole thing is fake. This is like a five out of five cranberry juice right here. Next. You all remember these. For those of you who don't know, these are like children's books and then there were objects you needed to find. Oh, look at the cat right there. That freaked me out. That's a good one though. I used to love these books. That's a that's a five out of five. Picture I took a few years ago in Poland. <gasps> I took the walk. I took the walk to Poland. Wow, dude. Imagine a ski lift that went to heaven. Already ski lifts are scary because they're not that stable. It's one thing holding you up, right? But then there's no ground for you to fall onto. So that's a good one. Three out of five. I'm out of cranberry juice. We have to pick a new object. We're moving to chocolates now. The currency conversion between cranberry juices and chocolate, there is none. They both have the same value in the world of J-Man Curly. Yo, SpongeBob liminal space. The Krusty Krab just shut down and the Chum Bucket too. Man, they're just buildings now. Wow, that's a five out of five. This memory belongs to everybody and nobody. You remember those days when 
You're coming home from a family dinner or something, and you fall asleep in the back of the car. You're lying down on the seats because you're still small enough to do that. You hear the rain pattering on the window, and here's the car moving, and you know what turns that your, your dad driving is taking because you know the road so well. And you hear the door open, and they pick you up, and they bring you to bed, and they put you in. God! Damn it! I just want to go back to those times. This is a one out of five chocolates because you made me sad. A pick I took many years ago in my hometown, the temperature was minus 45 degrees. Anteca. That means pharmacy. How do I pronounce that? Apteca. Apteca. That's a five out of five chocolate. Number 19. Chinese ghost city. Looks like a world border of a game. Yeah, that's true, eh? Five out of five chocolates. Let me eat the chocolate. Alright, guys. Welcome back to J. McCurley's Chocolate Review. This is lint, strawberries, and cream. Doesn't sound like chocolate to me. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Now I need a new object. I hate the chocolate. Kirkland water. Shout out to Costco. I dreamed of this place and recreated it on Source Engine. You dreamed this? Yo, what, what do you have to be doing in your day for your brain to go to sleep and think, Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is a three out of uh, five. Yo, this is the set from the, the song. I'm not going to say the song. Yeah, look. That, they just removed it. That's a four out of five uh, Kirkland water bottles. Yeah, that's good, man. That's like old diner. I don't find these too creepy. I feel like blood belongs on these chairs, you know? It's like in a horror movie. Oh my god, he's chasing me through the diner. Stab blood everywhere, you know what I mean? It's too clean. It's too clean. Five out of five Kirkland water bottles. Number 15. Burger. Youch, bro. You know what this is? I don't know what it is. That's a five out of five. Ew. There's another one of those desert-themed places. If you live here, why do you have to pay to use your own dryer? That's a three out of five Kirkland water bottles. Number 13. No, this is cool, man. This is like a little ornament I'd want on my desk, you know? Like a little light-up one. A little square you put on. This is cool. I'll give it a one out of five Kirkland water bottles because it's not scary, but a five out of five in terms of how cool it is. Let's move on. Yeah, there's something really lonely about this one. It's like you're either looking down the road or you're really moving really fast down it, but I love the beachy vibe. Five out of five Kirkland water bottles. Shout out to uh, Hiroshi. 11. Oh, man. I remember this episode, bro. This one was so scary. It wasn't scary, it was just weird. This is rock bottom. And it was so lonely, too. Next, I like this one. There's something relaxing about it, but just unbelievably lonely, you know? Yeah, like, you, once you enter the grass patch, you never leave. It's just forever grass. Yeah, I'll give that a 5 out of 5 Earthland water bottles. That's a good one. Number 9. Yo, I did this. I went through a road like this one time. That's when the real Julian died. I'm the replacement. I'm a skinwalker. Ooh, boo boo the Oval Office between U.S. Presidents. Oh, really? That's when they're switching out all the furniture and stuff, I guess? That's pretty creepy. It looks so, uh, average for such an important building. I'm glad I saw this. That's a 5 out of 5 Kirkland water bottles. Next, Deja Vu area. This is your first time here. If this platform feels familiar, immediately alert an MTA employee. If you see something, say something. Hell no. This is your first time here? Imagine seeing that, bro. And you think you've been there many times before? That is horrible. 5 out of 5 just because of how good it is. 6. Yo, what? That looks like GM uh, Big City. Like that one Gmod map. Dude, that is so weird. It's just how the sun is hitting. It looks fake because there's no shadows. Five out of five, baby. Next, it's like a nuclear wasteland. It's beautiful, but like, what is that tower? I had a dream about aliens last night. It freaked the hell out of me, bro. Let me know in the comments if you believe in aliens. Next one. Underground bunker built at the height of the Cold War meant to emulate normal suburban life in America. Yo. Imagine living in a place manufactured to feel normal. Look how short the trees are. That's a five out of five just for how interesting that one is. Number three. The area in my school courtyard always gives me such a weird feeling when I walk alone in it. This looks like a jail, man. This is really weird, though. I hope you're not going to school there anymore. I hope he's still alive. Three out of five wild air bottles. Number two. This is this is kind of nice, actually. This looks like an album cover. But it is freaky. That stop sign is way too perfect. Those rock in the back are sussy. That's a five out of five, man. This is the most liked post on r slash thermal space. Let's see what it is. Here we go. My girlfriend works in a bingo hall and sent me this. Wow. I'd hate to get chased in here. That's what I'm thinking. I love bingo. I don't play it enough. I don't play it ever. So I'm not 80, but 29,000 upvotes. I hope you guys feel more knowledgeable on the middle spaces, because I do. Every place I've ever lived has looked like the back rooms. Here, my house, which we're renovating right now, um, I can't leave. I've always been in the back rooms. Ah!